First, this local packing company has the only building in California with more nuts in it than a Beverly Hills mansion. Wow. <laughs> Angelo is definitely uh, producing It's definitely Angelo's time. Court is standing by with more from Prima Noche. Yes. Okay. First things first, we do have to uh, make a little correction because last hour um, we actually had Mike Garleap. <laughs> oh. That wasn't AJ. That was Mike. Oh. So Mike joins us again this hour with another uh, look at, at a different uh, eye level uh, at Prima Noche. Good morning to you, Mike. I'm sorry. We thought it was AJ last hour. Good morning. <laughs> hey, I'm going to stand in for anybody. No problem. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so you've taken us a, a little above the, the uh, factory floor to kind of get a bird's eye view of, is this still the sorting area? Yeah, so what we are, where we're at right now is kind of the hub of the, the processing facility. We're here on the platforms where we do electronic sorting. You're going to see machines to the left and to the right. I think you're looking at right now one of them sorting out the dark walnuts and the light walnuts. And then behind me, which you saw in the very beginning, uh, is where we do all the hand sorting. So everything we miss up here on the, the platform, uh, we have the, the last final hand touch is being applied down there with all the, the folks working hard. Now, with the sorting, what exactly are you guys looking for? Uh, contaminants or inferior no, what, walnuts? What, what we're looking for down... Right, exactly. Down on the, the where the people are hand sorting is primarily cosmetic defects, okay. things that you would look at that are just fine to eat. And then also a final audit of the shell, make sure all the shell is out of the system. Oh, uh, yeah. So everybody gets a shell free product. So, what happens to the nuts that are maybe not the prettiest, um, but they're still edible? Do those get turned into something else? Absolutely. So, what happens is that we have multiple grades, mostly uh, export. Quality, so nice light colored walnuts. 80% of them, in fact, from our factory are exported. The other 20% stay in the domestic market and they're primarily used in snacking but also baking items. So some of the darker nuts, even though they might not look as pretty, are just as good and just as flavorful. So off to the brownies, the banana nut bread, cookies, things of that nature. Interesting. Okay, now you mentioned earlier that there's a lot of uh, nuts that are actually exported uh, out of the country. Do you know what those end up being used for that we might know here in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of them goes into packages. People will buy one pound, two pound packages. They're mm -hmm. you know packed locally in uh, let's say Germany or Italy or the U.K. But also they go into other products like in Japan they bake them in breads and things. Uh, for their uh, cultural kind of items. Interesting. All right. Well, it's Prima Noche, Premium Walnuts. Uh, we're going to link all the details so that you can get some more information about the company. Uh, and again, it's right in Linden in the Central, Cali uh, Central Valley uh, here in Northern California. Yeah. It's very good to know that we are such a large exporter of walnuts. Thank you so much for your time this Absolutely. morning, Mike. We appreciate the tour. Wow. Thanks, everybody. Have a great New Year's. You likewise. All right, John, back over to you. All right.